afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. Here's Brett Gardner now, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Meeting off the afternoon for the Yankees, the left fielder. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And here's a called strike to the 36 year old veteran. It's nothing in one. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Started to offer at it as an appeal goes down to Jerry Hillsdale at third, but Jerry says he held up. It's ball one. Ready on one and two. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time, and the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. The right fielder. Striding into the box, Aaron Judge, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And the pitch. Short hit hard and a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one out base runner. That is third. The center fielder, Aaron Hicks. Into the box now, Aaron Hicks, and he fouls this one off. Comes set and the 0 1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Sliced hard on the ground. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. That is good. The book that Labor Torres. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Split fingered pitch that's by him for strike two. And now we'll take a moment here at home plate as he asks for time. The one two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kiermeyer giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. The run is in to score, and they take an early one nothing lead. In now, Jay Bruce. And the Yanks trying to make this first inning even sweeter here. He's set and the pitch. Comes set, the 0 1. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0 and 2. Now, time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Kiermeyer on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Coming to the plate now, Brandon Lau. He'll lead things off here in the bottom and half of the first. For the Ray, the second baseman, number eight. And now a pitch on the way. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Below the zone a swing and a miss. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. He hits it high. He hits it deep. It is out of here. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. As he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play.
in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball and the count holds it 0 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Walker has it. Throw on to first. So a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. And that'll bring that's up the first. big stick of Nelson that's Cruz. That's hitter. Nelson. Cruz. Here's the first pitch to him. Favorable call in there for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. And there's out number two. So bases are empty Back here with two gone. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. Judge is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Giancarlo Stanton now. He'll get us started in the top of the second. John Carlo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. So the first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native, the left-handed bat of Neil Walker. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. I couldn't lay off the pitch inside. It's 0-1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One, one. one out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes now. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that will bring in DJ LeMayhew. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and that'll get down for a base hit. The catcher, Gary. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Now a ground ball and a chance for Adamas is short. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. Digging in, Hunter Renfro. He'll lead things off against Garrett Cole. The right field. Hunter. Outfield shaded a bit to left center. The first pitch. Nope. Outside with the fastball. That's one and zero. Oh. He hits it high. He hits it deep. It is out of here. Jiman Choi, the that next to hit. The first baseman. This will lay off a slider Choi. too low, ball one. No outs, nobody on. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, one and one. Looked like that one tied him up a bit, a swing and a miss.
Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Uh, the struggles continue, but that happens when you're not able to locate your secondary pitches. You become a one-pitch pitcher. He needs to start to get those secondary pitches over really fast. Gardner is there, and he'll bring this one in. Up next for the Rays, Mike Zanino. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Belted high in the air out to left. Gardner going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So bases are empty here with two gone. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Cole's ready. Here's the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Hicks is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brett Gardner, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. First offering on its way. Just a tick behind for a strike. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Hit hard towards the hole. He's got it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Stepping up now, Aaron Judge. He singled his last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, and not even close with that one, and he's behind 0-1. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Now before the next pitch, time is called at home plate as he'll step out. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Aaron Judge is out number two here in the third inning. Aaron Hicks will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Willie Adamas. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. One ball and one strike to the leadoff man here in the home third. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. The one-two. Misses, ball two. Takes this the other way to right. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Now batter, number eight. At the plate, Brandon Lau. Fouled away. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. So a runner on first with one out now. And that means Kevin Kiermaier will hit next. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit in the air to left field. Gardner is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Here's Nelson Cruz now. Up next for Tampa Bay. The designated hitter. 
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. You can kiss it goodbye. Standing in now, Austin Meadows. And he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. The 1 1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Nope. Lays that's off two and two now. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. Two out, nobody on. Count remains two and two. Pull into the windup. Here's the pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Glaber Torres. First pitch on its way. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Torres, a Venezuelan born ball player, certainly a versatile middle infielder playing shortstop today despite being a second baseman naturally. Yeah, he's a premium defender. It doesn't matter. Anything that's in his vicinity, right or left of him, five steps either way is getting vacuumed up. So they trust this guy's glove in a premium spot no matter where he's playing. So he froze him for the strikeout. Glaber Torres goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. Jay Bruce is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. He's going to have to take a deep breath, a little bit ultra aggressive at the plate right now after fishing at the first pitch and looking like he was going to commit on that one. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. No off the plate. Ball two. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Pitch down. taken several inches below the zone, in fact. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. In now is the Yankees DH. Giancarlo Stanton comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now. 0 and 2. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The one two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the two two. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. Roos stands at first with one out. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Now that so two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native, the left-handed bat of Neil Walker. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. And a 
And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly yeah, yeah. broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Ready now, Hunter Renfro. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here's the first pitch to him. This is popped up. And this is taken in out there by Bruce for the first out. Now with the plate, G-Man Choi. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. And you can't even put a good swing on it. Count is one and two now. Two and two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Into the box, Mike Zanino. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 and 0 now. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up DJ LeMayhew. The third base. Now here it comes. LeMayhew. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1-1 home. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. And now before the 1-2, time is called at home plate. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two two. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And the next to bat, the Dominican born catcher, Gary Sanchez. Uh, started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Cutter low, one and one. Swing and there it goes deep to left no chance at bringing this one back and this ball is gone no chance to make a play on that one you don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher this guy's not used to giving up some bombs so I'm sure that'll be a wake up call and he'll start throwing some better pitches. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one 0 for two from him so far in this one 2 and 0 to the Yankees left fielder hits are now even at four apiece two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man and before the 2 1 pitch here time called at home plate. And it's two balls and two strikes now. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. 
the 3 2 pitch. Swing and a line drive. Kiermeyer is there, two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Now he'll step out at the plate and reassess things here. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Joey Wendell digs in now. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Pitch on the way. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hicks is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. So one away the here with the bases empty. And up next will be Willie Adamas. First delivery to him on the way. To third. On to first and very quickly two are gone in the home fifth. So Tampa's batting order turns over and set to go. Brandon Lau. He's one for two in this one. First offering on its way. Fouled off. Cole into the windup. 0 1 on its way. Lined into right, a base hit. Now batter, center fielder. Kevin. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. As he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. It's really hard to match up this poor performance when you dive into the numbers. This guy's thrown over 80% of his first pitches for strikes, but he's going to need to have to clean his stuff up a little bit better and get the ball down in the strike zone. And maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate so he'll step out and ask for time. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. In tight with the slider, two and two. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Line drive to center field. Hicks is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And that'll bring up the switch hitter, Aaron Hicks. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The 1-0 home. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool the guy. It's one and two. Now, time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. Still one and two as he fouls it away. And the pitch. And it's fouled away. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. First offering on its way. Hot shot to third. And there are two away now. 
Bases empty, two gone now, and here's Jay Bruce. First pitch on its way. A ball and no strikes. Count one and Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Ready to deal. Here's the one-one. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. And he'll step out and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Nelson Cruz. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home six. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Here's the first pitch to him. 1 0. The 1 0. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. 1-1. This right-handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two-seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Austin Meadows. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Right side, but it's well foul. We're in the sixth inning now of a 4 to 2 ball game. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And he'll step on first himself for the out. So two outs now in the Tampa Bay sixth, and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. Two and zero. Oh. Two and one. Two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Even two and two count to Hunter Renfro. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. G-Man Choi would be next. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He's a gold caliber player who's got excellent hitting attributes across the board. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. And now we'll take a moment here at home plate as he asks for time. Taken and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's oh, been a big man. factor why he's been so successful up to this point. The one two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Digging in to try it again. Neil Walker. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Walker. Mike Talkman will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Mike 
Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Found it softly down the line toward first. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He's one for two in the ballgame. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Meadows moving back. And he makes a nice catch Ladies on the gentlemen, track as that George ends the inning. <laughs> Digging in, G-Man Choi. He comes in 0 and for 2 Utah, thus far. The, the first baseman, G-Man Choi. Now here's the pitch. That's a ball. Count one and oh. The one oh. And he fouls this one off. Two balls and a strike to the Rays first baseman. Even now, two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Hit on the ground toward the left. The throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Ready once again, Mike Zanino. Over two with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. And that misses ball one. That command may be starting to drift a bit. It's 2-0 now. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Swing and a liner. And now a lunging catch, and he does a full gainer as well, but somehow hangs on for the second out. Now at the plate, Joey Wendell, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gardner is there, and that ends the inning. Ready to begin the eighth, and next the dangerous power threat, Gary Sanchez. Goes to show you how strong this guy is. That wasn't a bad breaking ball that he hit for a home run and it lasted that. That ball was down and away. He went out and hooked it and pulled it. This guy's definitely a good hitter. That evens it up one and one. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pick. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
Brett Gardner comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 and 0. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Getting late 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. One and two. One ball. Two now three. time called at the plate as he'll step out and try and start it again. Got him as he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Here's Miguel Andujar now. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Down the third baseline. But this is foul for the first strike. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one, two, three, and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. One and one the count. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Well, he's throwing a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. The 2-2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Riding in once again, Willie Adamas, a hit in two tries so far. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Where this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. No swing on the knuckle curve, even at 1-1. One one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Hicks on the move. He's there and records the first down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Brandon Lau. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. First offering on its way. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. He hits it high. He hits it deep. It is out of here. And now Kevin Kiermeyer. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermeyer now. Lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Pitch on the way. And he stays alive here as he gets a piece of this, and in turn, he gets a piece of the catcher behind the plate. A full count to the Rays center fielder. And before the big 3 2 pitch, time is called at home plate. Right side. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Now battle. 
Adam Ottavino enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Now pitching for the year. Number zero. Adam. To the plate now. Nelson Cruz. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Five runs, seven hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line in left. And this will find the wall out near the visitors' bullpen. And that'll score the runner from second to make this a 6 2 ball game now. Up next for Tampa Bay. No one field out. Off there. Into the box now, Austin Meadows. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Fouled away. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Fastball well outside. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. And the plate, Hunter Renfro. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Fouled off. Now the one and one pitch. Two balls. Big one. sweeping breaking ball right there. A good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two, 3-2, two. Three three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Gardner is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Nick Anderson takes the mound here. Not a save situation, of course, because of the big lead, but he'll try to finish it out nonetheless. Standing in, Aaron Hicks. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Rarely do you see a closer come in when you have a comfortable lead like this one here. We'll see if he's able to keep his concentration. A lot of times, closers have a difficult time when they have that lead of three or more runs. No balls in one strike. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now back. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Torres. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. And a good heater as he just watches this baby a ball and a strike. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. And the count will be full. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. Now the three and two pitch. Popped him up. Adamas takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Digging in once again, Jay Bruce. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. 
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Ooh-wee. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. And he fouls this one off. And now this crowd estimated at around 26,000 fans comes to their feet. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Great take right there. But the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Last chance for the Yankees. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Six to two, the final total today. Tampa Bay took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very 